Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm up here in the attic tonight, and uh, looks like we got ourselves an antenna again. I was messing around on Sunday, and uh, I wanted to build something that would be good for two meter uh, sideband. So I figured I'd build a half wave dipole. They're very crude, very crude and rude, but it works. It works. I got it sloped down here in this uh, sort of inverted V uh, style in a way uh, to uh, bring the impedance down to match the uh, 50 ohms. And I got uh, some heavy duty or sort of heavy duty, uh, what is this, RG213 uh, I think it is. And these are some uh, ferrite beads on there. Uh, you really can't coil this stuff. The plastic vinyl or whatever the hell it is that's on this uh, outer shielding on this coax run here is uh, very hard to make a common choke uh, to turn that around. So kind of like it's it, this this plastic here is even harder than the Yellowmore 400 I have. But uh, so I decided to put the uh, the beads on there to give it a try and then uh, bend it down and make an inverted V. Inverted Vs are supposed to be uh, uh, more omnidirectional. But anyway, this is built for the two meter sideband or two meter, uh, two meter band, I should say. Uh, I built it specifically for the sideband portion. Uh, so yeah, that's what it is. Very crude. And as you can tell, if this thing would focus in, uh, not very well, but anyway, I solder like an ass, so I can't really solder. I got to practice that. But uh, so anyway, I, I tuned this up. I used the Nano VNA, and uh, my SWR near the sideband portion, 144, 100 uh, to uh, what about 144, 300, anywhere in there is roughly around 1.3 uh, on the Nano VNA. When I hooked it up to my radio, uh, really wasn't showing anything on the Yesu, which was crazy. And I think having a 50-foot run on this thing uh, is giving me uh, that low SWR. Um, let's see here. It also is uh, good on the uh, FM portion, so all your 2-meter repeaters, it's, it's low. It's flat as anything. On the Nano VNA, it was pretty much 1.0, 1 1.1 1 .1 to 1, uh, which I was very surprised to find out. And I tested it via simplex, uh, simplex with a five mile contact and that worked fine. And the guy was moving, he was in a car. We never had a problem with 15 watts into the antenna. Uh, the ASU FT99 does 50 watts sideband AM, or sideband and FM. AM, I think it's only 20 watts on two meter. Uh, it also works for the uh, 70 centimeter sideband portion. I just tested that now. Uh, the SWR is a little higher. It's 1.5, but, you know, <clears throat> at 50 watts at 1.5 for 70 centimeters, I could take that. Not that anybody's on there anyway, that I know of anyway. There probably are. I just don't have the antenna for it. But this is just to get me on the air and to experiment. Uh, on sideband, I also made a, on two meter sideband, I also made a uh, contact with a buddy of mine who is roughly around 10 to 13 miles east of me. So it does work. And I also checked into my local repeater and that repeater site is probably about 15 miles away. So anyway, this was me messing around. And like I said, it's just an inverted V and you know, you got your, uh, SO239 or PL239, uh, uh, you know, connector in there. And I just soldered it onto the center pole and then put a little screw for the, uh, the shielding part, uh, to make a half wave, um, really crude and rude. I'm going to figure out how to waterproof this thing, maybe shoot it up with some hot glue or, uh, put it in a box, a pill box or something so I could put it outside. But for right now, it's, sorry, right now it's in the attic. Each length was cut to about nine, 19 and a half inches long. So if you're interested in trying it out, but for right now, I just wanted to get something on there and try it. I did hear some stations coming in pretty well, uh, from New Jersey the other day when I built this on Sunday. Uh, which was cool because I normally can't hear anybody 
or not very well on the vertical. So the polarization is, uh, is the way to go. So anyway, this is Mike Cricket 113, messing around in the attic and messing around with antennas. Not the best antenna in the world, but uh, she'll do for now. All right, have a good one. Keep playing with those radios and start building your own gear. Take care.